we do not have to spend a lot of money to be prepared. This video, we're gonna be going over my very basic bug out bag, something that I created for friends and family, which includes you guys. I'm gonna be giving away the backpack that we are gonna be reviewing today. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a tour of the bag, and then we're gonna be doing a giveaway for the bag. So if you guys wanna get a free brand new bag to bug out or start your bug out bag journey with this is the video for you and i am so grateful to you guys for helping me reach 2500 subscribers dude i honestly i am just i am so thankful grateful and amazed that this many people you know wanted to you know come and join our community and share their knowledge and I'm just so grateful to every single one of you, honestly. So I wanted to dedicate this entire video to my 2,500 subscribers and cheers to 3,000 subscribers. We do not have to spend a lot of money to be prepared. Let me show you how I got this backpack together for under $100. This is a very basic emergency pack just to make sure that we have the basics when an emergency happens. This system is great in cities. The colors blend in, you know, nicely into the city colors and, you know, you can keep it somewhat stealth and gray man if that's important to you. But this pack, you know, it's something that you would see every day so it doesn't have a lot of molly on it. And honestly, I've actually used this pack in the past and I've used it up to a year and even gave it away to a coworker and he still uses it every day for the last two years. So it's outlasted all of my packs and it was only $30. This brand is easily found at Walmart online and I really love the fact that it does have the things that you need. It is a 37 liter pack so you can actually use it for an overnight pack or just to pack basic supplies for emergencies. Uh, you can always expand the system and add a sleeping system to it, attach it, a little bit more room for a 72 hour kit. This is a great pack to start with. I love the fact that this pack actually has an insulated pouch. So if that's important to you, keeping things cold, perhaps you have some medications or things that you would like to keep, you know, a little bit colder, you can keep that here. And that also means that it is waterproof. It's not 100%, but this would just add on to your protection. So you can also, you know, use that as, as an extra layer of protection to your uh, items that are, need to be you know protected from water no matter where you are there's one thing that you are going to need and that's going to be clean and potable water so i actually got these water bottles from my employer now these were being given out for free and i actually took them home um we actually rebranded but the water bottle is totally still usable and i got a red and a blue of course so we know which water may be potentially dirty and which is clean because I do also have here a life straw. Now a life straw is really good for filtering out water that you don't know is potable and is drinkable. Now this life straw makes the water safe to drink. It takes bacteria out of it and you can literally just place it inside of the water bottle and drink directly from it. No boiling required. In the future, I would suggest that you upgrade to a canteen uh, made out of stainless steel so that you can boil water if need be and still be able to keep water. In this pouch, I pretty much keep all the navigation items. I think it's really important to have basic navigation items like a map of your area or your state. And this is actually waterproof. Now, I'm not going to be including this in the pack because whoever wins, you know, may not be from this state. So you're going to have to put your own map in. However, what I will leave in the pack for you, I believe is very important to have in any pack, whether it's a get home bag or a actual bug out bag, is a compass with a signaling mirror. 
and this mirror is actually great for signaling if you're in an emergency and of course the compass to tell you where you're going so this will be included in the pack when i ship it out the other item that i do keep here is a write in the rain notebook if you need to write anything down you have something to do that with and the other thing that i do keep in here that i think is important is actually a hand crank radio which is also a flashlight so that is actually really great you have lighting it is a feature that is hand cranked so you even if you don't have solar which this is also solar you can still utilize it no batteries required and you can even charge your devices from it if you have your adapter for your phone and of course this is a radio to get information in an emergency that is really important and this will also be included in the pack for you it'll be a new one it won't be this one um, but I'm just showing you the items that will be potentially in the pack or should be in your basic pack and inside I actually keep some fire starting items first item I keep is actually some waterproof matches in a waterproof container now I know you can use a lighter, which I also have in here. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I had, you know, redundancies and I definitely want to make sure I had at least three ways of starting fire. I also keep in the, this emergency survival blanket from Titan. I actually have these in all of my bug out bags and also my individual first aid kits. Staying warm in a survival situation is extremely important. So even though, you know, I don't have a sleeping bag in here, there is some way of staying warm besides the fire. And the last thing I have in here is actually another flashlight. Once again, I got it for free at my job. <laughs> so these are super small, they're great, and they were free. I also keep a small first aid kit just to make sure I have at least some basic items. You can find these at the dollar store, Walmart, Target, anywhere. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. I also like to keep a way to make sure I keep some sanitation. This small pack includes everything from a toothbrush, toothpaste, and even some water just for that because I don't want to waste my drinking water on it. Regular distilled water. And of course, some floss and some soap and some wipes um, along with these, you know, daily wipes uh, for when you use the bathroom just to stay clean along with the comb just to make sure, you know, morale is important and small things like that can actually make a difference. And feeling clean and, you know, just having the basic items that definitely helps you keep morale up just even with the basics. I also keep a tube of Vaseline. Vaseline can be used in so many different emergency situations from a fire starter to a lotion to, you know, a first aid ointment, pretty much anything <laughs> that is super handy. So I like to keep a little bit. For basic hygiene, I also keep this hand sanitizer, so uh, it has a little carabiner you can use later or even just refill it and hang it on your pack. Super easy and once again, it was free. The last item that I have in this pouch is actually an emergency blade. This was actually very inexpensive. It actually does come with a ferro rod and its sheath. And it does have a little bit of paracord, so that is helpful. You can even just use the steel blade if you need it for any kind of bushcrafting projects, starting fires, security. Like, these are a lot of very important items to cover with one single knife. And in the biggest pouch in the back, we have a hydration bladder uh, pocket as well as just some space to put your hydration bladder I don't have one in there uh, right now I just have some basic items um, here I have some food and the food is not going to be included I just wanted to show you guys what type of food I kind of keep around just easy to make and you know have a lot of protein you know some fat and when you're in an emergency, you may not have a lot of things at your disposal, but you can at least have some basic protein to keep you going. 
Another item that I do have in here is just an emergency flare. This is for my roadside kit and I would, you know, suggest using caution if you're going to hold it in your hand for some reason, but it's definitely important to have some sort of flare to be able to take care of yourself and, you know, um, shine some light in an emergency if you needed something quickly or to, you know, actually call in for some help. That's also in very important to be able to be rescued and be seen even in the dark. The back of the pouch actually does have a lot of, you know, uh, airflow and some ridges to help keep your back, you know, nice and dry when you're hiking. The actual pack does do very well in, you know, like everyday situations. Like I said, we've used it for about three years between me and my coworker, the same pack this pack and it was only $30 you really can't beat that as a starter emergency pack it's going to last you years even with daily use and that is real this is a great way to get yourself started in an inexpensive way and even better you're going to be getting it for free if you make sure you subscribe and also follow me on instagram at femprepper make sure that you comment down at the bottom with your instagram username and you will be entered in the raffle to win this pack with the very basic items that I feel that you need just to get yourself started with an emergency go pack. And just like you see here, you do not have to spend a lot of money to get yourself prepared for an emergency. Thanks so much for tuning in guys and thanks so much for subscribing and bringing your different perspective to this channel because we all come from different backgrounds. We all have different knowledge and I am so grateful to all 2,500 of you who have came to this channel and made it what it is. So thanks so much for tuning in and make sure you subscribe so I can keep you in tune and I will see you in the next video. Such a beautiful place to get stuck. I'm just saying, just admiring. Everything's an adventure, so. <sighs> it's a beautiful place to get stuck. Um, it might be scary in the middle of the night, though. Oh, there was a bug on me. <laughs>